My ex-husband Sam is claiming one of my exes touched my daughters and I do not know if this happened or not. He claims that I knew, I allowed it, I covered it up. What kind of mother would that make me be? If I did that, I would be a piece of mother. Sam said the girls were coming to me, telling me about it. I was calling them liars, telling them to not talk about it. He's got the whole community thinking I allowed my daughters to be molested and raped. This accusation makes me feel embarrassed, ashamed, hurt. I need to shut my ex up. I had nothing to do with this and would not allow this to happen to our daughters. I took a lie detector test to prove that I did not lie, hide, cover it up, or know that this was going on with my daughters. One day my oldest daughter called and told me that her mother left her there and that her ex started touching her places that she didn't feel comfortable with. So I, I called the sheriff's department because I live out in the country. They came, they were in, talking to me and stuff. Um, and then the kids got home. Uh, at that time, they were talking to my oldest girl. So they asked her what happened. And then they went to the sheriff's department, asked her some more, but really didn't do a whole lot more because her stories were being conflicted. Because I think, in my honest opinion, that um, he probably told her something like, you know, if you tell, I'll do something. So the police investigate this, but they say we don't have enough to charge. Correct. Okay. Did Kim then throw this guy out of the house? No. So even after the accusation, she left this boyfriend stay with her? Yeah. Did, did you confront Kim? Did you say, what the hell are you doing? Um, I, I asked her, and she said she don't believe that it happened, so she's going to do what so, she okay. wants. So this gets dropped. Then what happens? Um, my youngest one day was started crying. One day her mother was gone, left her with her ex, told her, told me that he started playing with her, touching her in spots. Told me that took her pants off and in her, in her panties, took his thing out and then turned her over and And she was years old at that time. So after this happens, your daughter tells you this horrific uh, incident that happened. What do you do? Well, I went, I went to the sheriff's department and they told me that they couldn't do anything about it because it happened in its city limits. So I went to, to make the report. They talked to my, my youngest and they talked to her like three or four different times. And they Did said, they take her to a hospital and do a rape kit? Nope. I mean, okay, you know, I don't know exactly what happened, but I would imagine because of her story that there would be evidence, physical evidence, DNA. Why, as a father, why didn't you say, why aren't we doing a kit? Why aren't we collecting this evidence? Okay, so the police, after you file this report, they do anything, any investigation? There's supposed to be an investigation now, but... Now? It's years later, right? Yeah. Why would they do one now? I don't know. I, well... Did they do one then? Nope. Why? They said that they talked to her when she was but when they went to ask her about it, there was like eight people in that room asking her. Were you there? I was there. Why didn't you say, you seven, get the out? I tried. I mean, listen, I, I want to get the truth for you, OK? But this story sounds hinky from you telling it, OK? Before this with the boyfriend, how would you say Kim was as a mother? A bad one. A bad one. See, Even when the good times were rolling. Yeah. I mean, we had good times, but I don't think she was, she was into other things like bingo, stuff like that. Bingo. And working. And work, well, guess well, what? Well, I understand that. Yeah, just, I mean. 
Unfortunately, we all love our kids, but we all got to work. Yes. Let's meet Kim. I would never allow this to happen to our children. But yet you took him over the girls. Why, why the f did you do that? You're stupid. I'm stupid. I'm the one getting here. You're the one here. that's going to owe me the apology, okay? Okay. Did you have any inkling that your daughters were being abused? No, sir. Okay. You ever see him physically abuse your daughters? No. Ever see him verbally abuse your no. daughters? Did he ever abuse you? Yes. Okay. When he brought these allegations up, did you confront your boyfriend? No, I haven't even talked to him about the situation. When you were with him, I'm saying. When, when was I with him when this came about? When you were, he says that you stayed with him after the allegations came up. No, no, that's not true. Is that true? Yeah, no. She stayed with him after the allegation came yes, up. Sir. Somebody says, hey, uh, they violated your child. I, what did you do as I've, a parent? I've been down to that police station several times having meetings with them trying to get him them to do the proper paperwork. And did they? No, they messed up on the paperwork. What? How did they mess up the paper? Is this Barney Five that's yes. down there? Yes, what? it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Well, I don't want to hear about paperwork. And you can't say you're still but not But you him. both failed your children, both of you. We're only here to find out if you knew, mm -hmm. which maybe you didn't, maybe you did. Mm -hmm. If you did know and you allowed it to go on, he's right. You should go to jail and you should go to jail for a long time. Um, you, we broke your lie detector down to your mm -hmm. two different daughters. Mm -hmm. First one is your oldest daughter. Were you aware that your ex-boyfriend was having sexual physical contact with your oldest daughter? You answered no. Did you allow your ex boyfriend to have sexual physical contact with your oldest daughter? You answered no. Before I read those results, I'm going to go right into the youngest daughter, and then I'll read them all together. Were you aware that your ex-boyfriend was having sexual activity with your youngest daughter? You answered no. Did you ever allow your ex-boyfriend to have sexual physical contact with your youngest daughter? You answered no. Did you ever allow your ex-boyfriend to have sexual intercourse with your youngest daughter? You answer no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Kim told the truth. <laughs> Who cares? I do. Hey, well, good for you. The sad thing is here, is your daughters, one of them, might have been raped. Mm -hmm, exactly. And the other one might have been sexually molested. Yeah. And the guy that did it needs to be in jail. walked away scot-free. And he needs to be in jail. And I don't know who screwed up. I don't know if you screwed up. Well, I know you screwed up to a certain degree. Yep. And I know you screwed up to a certain degree. I don't believe that they heard this story and said, ah, we don't want to investigate. We don't want to believe that a little girl was raped, and we're not going to look into it. And nobody thought to give this girl a physical examination and determine whether she was raped. Okay. I don't believe that. So today, <laughs> you got your answers. But now, you got to dig deep and say, am I a good parent or am I a bad parent? Because when you go home, if you don't do anything, it's just keep going on your own ways and being selfish to yourselves and just doing whatever you want to do and not try to pursue justice for your children, then go ahead. And I, I, sadly, I think that's what's going to happen. But if somehow you do want to get to the bottom of this, and you can get this guy to come on the show, I'd love to have him on. And I'd love to give him a lie detector test to find out if he raped your child. So I'm willing to do a lot more than either one of you did. <laughs> And with that, you both can get off my stage.